What's up, y'all? How you doing? All right, I'm making another simple soap today. Um, this one is actually a mixture of citronella, lemon eucalyptus, and clary sage. I've got my own little formulation on how much of each one is going in there. So right now I'm going to go ahead and pour my lye water solution into my oils. This is at room temp, so everything's pretty cool. Citronella does have a tendency to accelerate and cold process soap, so I'm hoping I can get this mixed up really well and get, at least get it in the mold. There's not going to be any colors, no swirls, basic soap. Um, it is the season for being outside, being in your garden, camping, yard work, all kinds of things, and this is citronella, uh, uh, lemon, eucalyptus, and sage are all good for um, repelling bugs. I'm not going to say it's going to keep you from getting bit. I'm not going to say, you know, my soap is going to do anything. I can't legally without proper testing. All I can say is that my soap will clean, but I do have these elements in my soap. So um, let's get started. This has the very characteristic odor of a, like a citronella candle. You, you can definitely tell the citronella is in there. Um, I have it a little bit lower percentage. I wanted the lemon eucalyptus to stick out a little bit more in the clary sage. So, um, but this is kind of a trifecta. <laughs> Got a trinity going on here. And I'm hoping you guys will like it. All right, so let's get this blended up. I'm gonna blend to emulsion and then I will put the essential oils in there. Oh yeah, by the way, these aren't fragrance oils. These are essential oils going into this batch. All right, let's get it. Kind of have my stick blender on ghetto mode there, so. <laughs> Try, like I said, I'm trying to get these soaps made today. I'm in a hurry. I've got the, the pups over here have woken up from their nap. They've already been outside, of course, but they're a little in a tizzy right now. So, I'm trying to hurry up and get these made. <laughs> the first two soaps in our series, the Calamine and this... Um, outdoorsy blend um, are very simple soaps the others are going to be a little bit more intricate and have a lot more ingredients and design elements to them so this is just going to be a simple soap Continue scraping this down because I want to make sure I get everything incorporated before I add that fragrance or the essential oils because I know <clears throat> that that citronella especially. The other two uh, should be okay. Um, they shouldn't alter the soap batter too much, but I know that citronella is going to accelerate and I'm not entirely sure how fast. So just trying to get us to an emulsion here but make sure that you know everything is well and incorporated. All right I think we are incorporated enough. Let's go ahead and get our essential oils in here and we'll see if we get soap on a stick or if I can actually get this blended up. Let's see. Hopefully since I'm working at room temperature it should be okay but we'll know in just a moment. All right, let's blend it in, see what we have. And y'all, that sage, oh, perfect combination with the lemon eucalyptus and the citronella, oh, it is amazing. Sage is a really one of the essentials for you know outdoor candles and such uh, but I wanted to add it because it's it's a calming element 
and it smells so amazing. And I'm really surprised this is not set up as quickly as what it stated it would. At least it said it would accelerate, but it didn't say how fast or how much. But this is still really fluid, like I'm digging it. And this bar is going to be uncolored. I'm not putting any colors in it. The soaps this month are gonna be as natural as possible. I will have color in some of them just because the other ingredients that I'm going to be putting in the others um, are going to have a tendency to discolor the batter anyway and not going to be that pretty all on its own so I'm going to have to help it out just a little bit but I'm going to try and keep them as natural as possible. Yeah, man, I'm like, I'm digging this. This blend is working out very well. My soap batter is still so fluid and gorgeous. Oh, man. This is just beautiful. And the smell. Mm. And this is on the lighter side too. This is not the, the way I have this formulated, um, the three essential oils in here, the way I have them formulated, they're not, okay. hey boys. The way I have these formulated, they're not in your face, like, you know, like the normal citronella outdoor candles and stuff like that. Hey, hey, Lucifer, a minute deal. Y'all chill out for a moment. Uh, so yeah, these essential oils aren't, the blend that I have is not like up in your face. It's not harsh, it's very light, um, but it's effective. Boys, hey. All right, so let me get this in the mold and let you guys go because my babies are getting whiny. I think they're fussing at each other, not me, but. Minute deal. All right. Oh, that is gorgeous, even though it's just plain, uncolored batter. These are going to be gorgeous bars. So this is gonna be our don't bug me bar. I was gonna try and be witty with something like bug off, but <laughs> you know. Actually not sure if bug off is trademarked patented, copyrighted, anything like that. So, just gonna call it Don't Bug Me. Got this bucket in y'all's way again, but still haven't worked out another camera angle. Been too busy formulating to <laughs> really worry about how my camera's looking. I know it's bad though, like, I definitely do need to work on that. I just haven't really found a setup in my kitchen that I like, you know, other than the straight down view. Now, once I get out to the soap shed. We should be able to do lots of different filming in there. Lots of different camera angles and things. Much better lighting. Way more counter space. I'm so excited. I can't wait, y'all. Yeah, that, that sage just makes this smell like over the top. It, it takes those sometimes harsh smells of the citronella um, and it tones it down. It makes it a more mellowed out, mild smell. 
Okay, so we're gonna go in here with our chopstick, just like we did with the calamine soap. And this is still really fluid and liquidy, so it's not gonna make much of an impression. Just gonna give it the appearance of some texture and maybe, maybe it'll hold that. But this is still really, really fluid and I'm, I'm actually really shocked. Um, yeah, the manufacturer said it would accelerate in cold process soap. At least one of my oils. Uh, the other two were supposed to behave pretty well. So, maybe they kind of helped the other one out. <laughs> at, least, at least that's my theory. All right, guys. Well, I have to go get my kiddos fed. Or my kiddo fed and let the other babies out so they will not be restless anymore and i know you can't see that on top like i said that pattern is not really going to come through since it's so liquidy but there's a little bit of definition on there all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video see you later and it has been less than 12 hours just want to show you how hard the soap is and how quickly it sets up it's not soft no fingerprints, no indentions, no soda ash on the top. Very, very hard soap. Lasts quite a while. This is our Don't Bug Me Citronella Soap. Great for outdoor usage, <clears throat> camping markets, uh, gardening. And this one is actually made with nothing but essential oils i normally do fragrance oils occasionally i'll throw an essential oil in with my fragrance oils uh, but this one is exclusively essential oils and i have three in here i have citronella i have lemon eucalyptus and clary sage i absolutely love sage and the smell of sage but this clary sage uh, essential oil is Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And it is in here, and you can tell, uh, it actually helps to tone down the citronella. Uh, and citronella and human, I can't even talk. Citronella and lemon eucalyptus actually smell quite similar. Very similar, indeed. Um, and so I used the sage in here to kind of I guess make them play nice together, you know, kind of mellow them out. Um, and it gives a nice balance to it. So it's not like straight citronella in your face. But, okay, well, let's go ahead and get this guy cut. Again, no swirls, no colors. Now, I was actually kind of worried about this soap yesterday. Um, the citronella, fra or, sorry, the citronella essential oil that I used <clears throat> said that it would accelerate in cold process soap. Kind of worried me for a minute because I use a pretty steep water discount and that generally makes it worse <laughs> for accelerating fragrance and essential oils. Uh, so I was a little nervous about that, but my batter stayed really fluid. Uh, even when I poured it in the mold, you saw that I could barely like texture the top um, because it was just so fluid. And after it had sat for a couple of hours, I went back and checked on it and I could see um, from the top of the loaf, I could see like this big ring um, where it had <laughs> actually started gel phase and it was heating up. Um, and I just, I prayed, I was like, please let it go through full gel phase because I don't want this big, like darkened ring on the inside of the soap, but I did not insulate it. I did not, you know, put it in the oven and see pop it. I just left it out in the open and let it do its thing. And voila, today we have it fully gelled. There is no big circle in the center, which I'm ecstatic about. It's only aesthetics, but you know, regardless, I didn't want it to be there and it's not. 
So super duper happy. Can't wait to pack this in our bag when we go camping. Of course, this is not an everyday soap, or not for me. Uh, this is not something I would use every day. You know, don't get me wrong. The smell of citronella in the summertime, you kind of expect it, but to me, it's a little, whew, it's a little potent. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's just not something I want to smell like all the time. But if I'm out camping or something, of course, I would definitely throw a bar of this in my bag. And, um, you know, if the bugs start getting to me or whatever, I would definitely go do a quick wash with it. You know, my, my legs, my arms, just my exposed areas. So hopefully it would keep the, the buggers off, you know. <clears throat> Although I'm not claiming my soap does anything but clean. Again, the components of the soap or the components in the essential oils are stated to do that. My soap, however, only I state that it cleans. That's all I legally can claim unless my soaps have been tested by the proper agencies. And that takes an extreme amount of moolah. But like I said, I think this will be a, a very nice addition to being outdoors, hunting, fishing, camping, anything where I'm going to be outside for quite a while. I'm going to use it and try it. See, you know, what it does for me. I'm not going to report back as to how it smells clean. <laughs> as you can tell, I'm trying very hard not to... Uh, claim anything. Claiming cosmetic uh, cosmetic claims is one thing that basically just comes down to labeling requirements, uh, a few changes in labels, which, you know, I put everything on the labels anyway, so not much of a change there. <clears throat> but when you get into medical claims, which, I don't know. That's a, that's a whole nother ball game. And we are not doing that. Not going to go there. Because that takes a lot more than just labeling. That definitely has to go through testing and stuff like that. So, which I wouldn't mind, you know. I would actually love to see how that would work out. You never know. But anyway, not blabbing and rambling about rules and regulations. You guys don't care. You just want to see the soap. I get it. <laughs> so here it is. I have now done two soaps for our farmer's market soap collection. This will come out in August. And for now, we have these two, which is the calamine soap and the don't bug me citronella soap. Very plain bars, but pleasing. All right, I'll see you back for the next soaping video. Bye.